Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome to your weekly reading. Now, when I was shuffling out the cards, um, I saw a very interesting image. First of all, there's a sun that's about to set in the background. Um, so it, it's, it's like, you know, within an hour, two hours of setting. So it's like a, uh, the, the day is almost over. And then I see a tree and then I see a um, kind of like a swing set uh, hooked to a tree. And then there's a bird and the bird is really really beautiful it looks i it it looks like a bird from a fairy tale like it doesn't even exist in real life it um it has a very long beautiful tail and it's like blue and um green and i see speckles of orange in there too so it almost looks like a peacock but it's definitely not a peacock and um the bird has plumage it has really beautiful feathers and so it knows that the day is um, about to end and it knows that the um, that it needs to get to, you know, a, a place of refuge, mainly because at night that's when the predators come out, that's when it's cold, so it needs to find refuge. And so it tries to fly, uh, fr it, it, so the, the bird is perched on the swing set and it's trying to fly up into the sky, possibly into another tree. And... Um, it's weighed down by its tail okay the tail is very long it looks almost like um, the tail of a peacock it's very long and so it falls into the ground and then it uh, tries to get back on the swing and tries to take off again and then falls into the ground and then tries to get on the swing and, and I see this recurring and so in the background the Sun is setting so when I got this message for you, I almost feel like there is a major start that you're trying to initiate in your life. And I feel like you kind of need to get a little bit of uh, a, a running start before you can soar and you can really, really take off. So it, it feels like there needs to be a lot of legwork to be done. Um, having a running start, and I feel it's almost like distancing yourself from a situation in order to succeed. So that, that could also mean, you know, physically distancing yourself from a situation in order for you to focus and hone in your energy on other things. And uh, I'm also sensing there's an element here about doing the same things over and over and over and over again and expecting different results. And also I'm sensing that, you know, um, the day is ending something is completing in your life or it's um, it's it's almost like inevitable it's it's going to be done it's going to be completed and I feel like you are aware of it and you're ready to jump onto new things but once again your tail is really weighing you down okay so that that's what I'm, I'm getting from that image it's a really beautiful bird so first of all Let's talk about the spread because we do have, once again, the energy of um, the the energy of the past that is still very much stuck to us. Hence the long tail, like uh, the tailwind or the whatever that has been, you know, on your mind, heavily weighing you down. Um, and I feel almost like it, it seems to me more like a, a way of doing things that for whatever reason we were taught to do, beliefs and ideologies that we kind of grew up with. And we're, it, it's safe, it's familiar, we cling on to it. And it has served us throughout our lives. And you know, it, it was never brought up for questioning. It's almost like you took it at face value, you never questioned it, you never doubted it. And it has served you well. And at this point in your life where you are trying to initiate change, where you're 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 kind of forced to creatively problem solve and you're kind of forced to think outside the box a little bit think outside the box um look at problems through a new lens look at a situation through a fresh pair of eyes so that you can uh, see the situation in a different light but because of all of these you know things from the past ideologies belief systems ways of doing that are really, really hindering your ability to think outside the box. And um, I almost get this element about somebody who's very, um, who's very indoctrinated, okay? And I get that, funnily enough, with this justice card, 
This is like rules, regulations, policies, not wanting to upset anybody in your environment, wanting to maintain that status quo, the harmony and the balance in a situation. And we're trying to, as well, trying to appease others, trying to blend in, trying to not stick out like a sore thumb, and trying to, as well, follow rules and regulations and beliefs and ideologies that might be passed down, that might be told to us, this is the way we do things, when in fact they don't really serve their purpose in the here and now, or they're not the most efficient way to do things. So I definitely feel some of you, you know, um, there's a, a huge thing here about wanting a lot of changes in your life, wanting to, you know, start out and break out and, and, and be your own person. But then I also feel like there are constraints and I feel like it boils down to the way that you are doing things and it boils down to the ideas and the ideologies that you prescribe to, which are they're all right and good, but I, I definitely feel they kind of hold you back and the universe is kind of telling you to explore new avenues, explore new routes, look at things through a different framework or look at things through a different lens and you're going to be able to find your answer or you're going to be able to figure out how to initiate something or start something brand new and have it succeed this time around, okay? So that's the first thing. Um, <clears throat> I have the fool in the reverse and, you know, this corroborates the same theme earlier about doing the same things over and over and over again, um, and expecting different results. Okay. If at first we don't succeed, we try again. Um, that is a very, I, I feel like that's a very honorable thing to do, you know, not to give up being very fixated on something and wanting a specific outcome. But at the same time, we kind of have to look at why didn't it work that first time? What did I do wrong? What did I not consider? What circumstance did I not factor in? And I feel like you have your mind made up about a very specific situation. And it's hard for you to see outside of it. It could very well B, it's, it's not that, you know, you're, you, you guys are very, very, very understanding and very considerate. But I also feel like once you have somebody pegged, once you have somebody kind of, um, once you believe certain things about somebody, it's really hard for you to see them in a different light. And likewise, once you have a, a problem, you've identified a problem, it's really hard for you to attribute, you know, this problem is caused by this one factor. It's hard for you to attribute that there could be other factors that affect the same problem. So I'm definitely seeing here a situation in your life that you're trying to resolve and a situation in your life that you feel once this is out of the picture, I'm going to have a clean slate. I'm going to have a brand new start. And I'm also sensing that, you know, you're, you're fixated on trying to to fix it and you were like this has to be the problem if i fix this one thing everything's going to flow smoothly and it's pretty much telling you that you know broaden your thinking a little bit look at a situation a little bit more holistically and being able to be creative and and think think about hypotheticals maybe it's not this maybe it's something else if it were something else what can i do to fix it and then go from there learning from mistakes Okay, not repeating the same mistakes, learning from mistakes, and especially thinking outside the box. I feel all of these messages are in particular related to your work, especially for those of you who are self-employed, and you're dealing with a lot of people that are coming and going in your life. Um, so if you're self-employed and you're hiring people, you're hiring contractors, you're hiring employees, you're trying to get clients, I feel like there needs to be a better, like a different way for you to market yourself. There needs to be a niche that you can tap into, like a specific demographics, a specific client base that you might have overlooked. And you're tapping into one segment of the client base while 
not so much ignoring but more like isolating others and as a result of it i feel like you know your the, the business situation i don't see financial difficulties but i feel it's almost like allowing yourself more flexibility so you can handle multiple things at the same time and not only fall into one way of doing things okay so expanding your services expanding the services that you have to offer um, I feel like some marketing might be required so this could be an online advertisement this could be an ad this could be you know um, paying somebody to publish you on a uh, magazine for example so that you can publicize your business or even getting business cards so that you can pass them out and you know social media is very very big nowadays especially with Yelp reviews so posting a business and going from there posting a business online and going from there because that will allow you to generate a lot of um, uh, it, it will allow you to have the vis visibility that you need and many of you, when you do something, you do it very, very, very well. So I don't feel like you're going to be suffering from getting bad reviews because you are the master of your craft. Scorpio people are very good at what they do. If they spend their life doing something, they're experts at it. And so expanding in through that platform, I feel is really, really gonna, going to help you because you're going to get very positive reviews, okay? Um, I'm also seeing for some of you, um, there might be some financial situation in the past, like financial debt, crawling out of financial debt, and um, I, I feel like wage garnishment in order to pay off some things, or even setting aside money that you earn in order to pay back past debt, something past due, something legality related. And I feel like, you know, if you clear up the baggage, if you don't let it weigh you down, if you clear it up so that you can kind of sever ties with the past, that can allow you to have a lot more opportunities in your life. So for some of you, I feel like you're well on your way to fix your credit. You're well on your way to establish your um, financial foundation. You might be somebody who's not very um, savvy when it comes to financial planning, which I feel is, um, it could be very few of you, okay? Most Scorpio people have a pretty firm grip on their financial situation. You definitely know how to uh, live within your means, but I feel like for those of you who are just not financially savvy, like you don't care, you, you work, because you enjoy the work and you don't really care much about financial planning, saving for retirement, saving up for a rainy day, then I feel like there's some situation coming into, and I feel like it could just be, you know, when we round out the year or it could just be when we, you know, end this year and you're just like, my new year's resolution is to learn to make my money grow for you. I see some of you consulting people when it comes to uh, financial investment. The Nine of Pentacles here could be business owner or somebody who's letting their uh, assets grow for them. Okay, so you're looking at a, a financial manager, you're looking at into investment opportunities, and I feel like somebody's coming in and they're telling you, I have this really good business, do you want to go on, uh, get on board with me and work alongside me? Or do you want to, you know, run it with me? And then I'm also sensing as well, um, they're asking you, like, I have a really good op business opportunity. You can buy in right now while it's new. Do you want to get on board? And I definitely feel uh, many of you have this opportunity and you are very, very fearful about moving ahead and, and taking that big risk, okay? So there's something risky in here, but I feel like it's going to have really great returns. It's going to yield good returns. And I feel like you're dealing with people who are offering you this insider information because they want to assist you because they want to help you. And I feel like they have done their preliminary research and they know what they're talking about. So, you know, just make sure whatever you hear for the next two weeks, I feel like it's going to be very, very important. You could just, you know, haphazardly uh, hear it through somebody random, like random strangers on the street. You could be at the store um, lining up for, you know, checkout at a grocery store and you're eavesdropping 
like just inadvertently eavesdropping or just hearing casual conversation and somebody's telling you oh this uh, stock is really really hot right now so you might, might want to buy in so there are messages coming through for you to push you in the right direction when it comes to financial investments when it comes to your money when it comes to fixing your credit when it comes to you know some type of income generating uh, activity that you can get yourself involved in it has been vetted and I feel like these things that you're hearing, they're not just, uh, they're, they're not accidental, okay? So keep your eyes open, keep your eyes peeled, keep your ears peeled, and make sure that you listen to the going-ons around you. Um, I see some of you meeting with a lot of new employees, so I don't know if you're in a p capacity where you are training them, um, they're trying to please you. That's what it feels like to me. Like they're trying to please you. I see some of you as well signing a lot of legal documents, okay? Perusing through a lot of legal documents, doing a lot of research, um, and they're saying the laws are made to be broken. That's what it feels like to me. So I don't know if you're dealing with people in a legal manner. Or you're trying to find loopholes in laws in order to find finding loopholes in order to some of you could be lawyers for example or you work in the legal profession and you're trying to find legal loopholes or you're trying to defend something legally or you're trying to unravel a legal argument or you're trying to read the fine print in some type of a legal arrangement okay so I, that, those are the things that I'm, I'm seeing coming into the picture. I definitely see new beginnings are in store for you. We do have the judgment card here next to the fool in the reverse. The judgment card is coming through, but the fool is in the reverse, which basically means be okay with taking a big risk. Be a little bit riskier this uh, the next two weeks. Of course, do your preliminary research, but I also feel like there is a situation weighing you down and I feel like you have to kind of creatively problem solve and get yourself out of it or you might need to take this big leap of faith in order not to feel weighed down okay um, on the love front you are dealing with somebody who is very stubborn they are very independent so this is the person that you're dealing with nine of Pentacles very independent quite stubborn this is somebody who enjoys their own company. They don't really need other people. They don't need people to take care of them. They're very self-sufficient. They've got a place. They're, you know, just very financially, very financially stable. And what I feel is this person's independence is can be seen as a little bit of a threat to you. So in whatever capacity that comes up, their stubbornness or their independence is, um, I mean, I feel honestly that you have somebody pegged the wrong way that's what it feels like to me and like I mentioned before once you have your you know ID uh, your opinions formed about a specific topic or a specific person you don't change okay like once you label somebody you don't change the labels even if they do other things you don't really change your mind or your opinions about a person and i feel like you have somebody pegged the wrong way that's what it feels like to me um you know this person is uh, financially stable you know they're very independent you know they can be stubborn but you have no idea to what extent they can be very independent where they don't need anybody they're so stubborn that they don't change their ways and so there might be um, a lot of ideological clashes between the two of you and they're so just um, they keep to themselves you know they're they're happy and content and I feel in a way if this is like a love interest and I feel for many of you you're very attracted to this person there's something about them and I feel like it has to do with that sense of self-sufficiency that sense of confidence that really really draws you in and you're very passionate about this person um, and I feel like there's definitely communication between you and this person. And I also sense that this is somebody who is very slow moving. Okay. And it, it's almost like, if you want me, come and, and get me. 
So it's like, if you want me, come and get me. I'll believe it when I see it. I'm not gonna budge. I'm, you know, if, if you show me your intentions and if you want to be with me, you're gonna come to where I am. It's somebody who is that stubborn. And once again, they they don't need other people. So they're gonna be very, very slow to act. Um, they're also not going to, it's like they're not easily swept off their feet. They're very practical. They're not easily charmed. They're not easily impressed because they're very impressive. And so I feel like, you know, all the, 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 those cheesy pickup lines will not work on this person. Telling them, oh, you're very beautiful. That's not going to work on this person. So I feel like your strategy has to change if you are trying to court this person or if you're trying to uh, get this person to notice you. Okay, so I definitely feel somebody's being blocked when it comes to their efforts and um, I see here a fire sign fire energy Sagittarius Aries or Leo and then I also see um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra so I have the Prince of Wands as well as the Queen of Swords this is someone who's excitedly coming in to see you and they know they're not on your caliber they know they're not on your caliber okay so they 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 really are very attracted to you they know they're not on that level yet and i feel like you know they're very passionate about you i mean the way that they're coming in it's like charging full speed ahead wanting to possess you and this is somebody that you're attracted to but you also want something a little bit more long lasting you want somebody that is um, a little bit more tame and so I feel almost like you might not trust this person. They have a good heart. They're in the upright position. They're very adventurous. They're very funny, good sense of humor, doesn't take offense, doesn't get defensive. And, you know, but I feel it's almost like a conquest. Okay. It's, it's almost like somebody, and this can be vice versa. I feel this energy about wanting something because it poses as a challenge to us. Wanting something because the other person is almost out of reach and unattainable. And the, the fantasy of possessing and really owning this entity or this person is so attractive to you or to somebody, who's, whoever's dealing with this, that it's hard for you to shake the fantasy from your mind. And on top of that, I do have another person as well where there is zero communication. And this was somebody that you really, really, really cared about, okay? You might have reached out, you might have um, initiated some type of a contact. And I feel like, you know, you were possibly married to this person, engaged to this person, share space with this person, because the um, this is the Ten of Cups. This is usually like a family card. And it indicates to me, you know, somebody that is quite significant to us. And then I have an air sign. This could be Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And it could be, for some of you, a family member. And then for others, a lover. Somebody that you were married to, involved with, lived together, share a space with. Shared a significant, um, what I feel is, you share significant milestones with this person. And for whatever reason, there is lack of communication and I almost feel like there's blockages. There's some blockages here. So that, that's what I'm feeling. Um, I feel almost like if you want this situation to work or if you want this person to, you know, initiate contact, we kind of have to let go of emotional baggage, okay? And I honestly feel like if you want things to start in your life, you might physically have to let this person go from their life. Their influence is really heavy. Um, and, you know, I apologize for cross watchers. It's not that the person is heavy. Their influence in your life, and especially if this is somebody from the past, their influence on your life is really weighing you down. You know, it's like that tail, okay? That tail on the, the bird. 
The tail indicates things from the past, things that were that are behind us. We're no longer looking at it. We're no longer fixated on it. We don't even need it. And yet the tail is so long, the history is so long that is really weighing you down in your effort to soar and fly and explore new territory and find a safe passage for yourself as the sun sets in the sky. That's what it feels like. It's it's it, there's this um, imagery with the sun setting. It's almost like I'm getting older. Life is moving, and things are catching up to me. I need to move on. I need to you know make quick decisions. I need to find a place of safety. And for whatever reason, things from your past are really really weighing you down, and you need to shed this area of your life in order for you to move forward, have new beginnings. And try something new. So I feel like it is a person. And for some of you, I do see the air sign that you are sharing space with or have shared space with. And you need to shed this. You need to let it go. You need to, you 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 are trying to soar and fly, and you have so many positive things coming into the picture for you. And yet, for whatever reason, you're clinging on to the situation, and it's really hindering. Your love life is hindering your marriage. Is hindering other things in your life. Okay, so time to soar and time to kind of leave this in the past. Your financial situation is really going to start to pick up. Okay, and you could be, you know, self-employed or you could be working for other people. I feel like finances is、um, at a point where you are fixing things, fixing your. Your financial situation. You're becoming a lot more savvy. You're learning how to manage things, and you're getting sage advice on how to do this the right way, how to do this properly. Saving up for a rainy day, being able to be in a situation where you know you don't have to make ends meet anymore. You have the financial freedom. Okay.、Um, what I'm also seeing as well, and、uh, Scorpios. You know, you you guys are very very loyal, and、uh, especially like with family members and with people that you share a long history with. Okay, hands that long tail. I keep going back to that long tail because it indicates to me, you know, something that is that you somebody or some, a situation that you've had a long history with. And the universe is really telling you to examine a situation and try to look at who's really holding us down. Who's really holding us back? Who's really good for us? Who's really bad for us? And I feel for some of you, there are issues here when it comes to living arrangements, when it comes to housing, when it comes to like trying to establish a family for yourself. So, for example, you have you have a big house, and you're just like,、ah, I don't really want to live by myself. I'm gonna you know rent it out. And then you rent it out, and you rent out, you know, like all the rooms, and you're just like, you know, it, it's hard for you to bring guests over. It's hard for you to have like an intimate life with another person, like a partner, when you have so many people in your house, right? So they're asking you, like, do you really need the money? Do you really need to sublet? Do you really need to rent out those houses, or would you rather just have your own safe little haven? So there is definitely baggage, or you know, ways of doing that you need to shed, and a lot of it has to do with other people. A lot of it has to do with like looking at your financial situation. You are financial independent, and you have to live your life as, as such. And I definitely feel housing situation, housing、uh, contracts and arrangements that needs to be changed, mainly because you need your own space. You need to start living in a more carefree and light manner, without the obligations, without the roommates, without the people crowding your space, so that you can allow new people, new love interests,、um, to come into the picture, and you can make the space available so that if you choose to start a family, if you choose to invite a lover in, if you choose to, you know, create a home with another person, that the Preconditions are already there, so I hope that makes sense for you guys. So I'm gonna leave it at that, Scorpios.、Um, it is a very, very fruitful, you know, next two weeks for new energies, for new things to come into the picture, 
and you have to do things a little bit differently, okay? The creative process is going to kick in. You're going to find ways to kind of uh, resolve. You're going to find ways to resolve these issues. And the, the, the ways in which you do that is looking outside the box, okay? It's going to come to you. We do have a lot of spiritual guidance that's coming into the picture, all right? Um, I do wish you the best. Take care of yourself, and I'll be back in January.